Right, so we run um, our emulator and use KDB on it. So what I want to see now is um, let's look at some of the the help for the emulator. So if we do emulator uh, dash help, we see this list of options that we uh, that we have here. So we've got options like you can load different images, different kernels, different cache size. Uh, you know, you can um, put different skins on there, uh, change the amount of uh, memory or RAM that's available for the emulator. So tons and tons of options here. Um, in particular, let's uh, take a look at the skin options here. change the ports, all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Um, emulator uh, dash uh, skins. Um, I think we're going to need to look up what skins are available. Uh, you can, if you need to know something specific, you can always do help uh, dash and then the option, what it is for the emulator. It'll bring it right up. So notice that skin can also be used with width and height, so we can specify uh, a different uh, frame buffer size. So let's do emulator dash skin 480 by 800. So before we were running in 324 by 240, which is a pretty small screen. So now we can actually open it up and you see that it's, it's going to be much longer, larger. It's going to be 480 by 800. Um, and you can see before we had like the D and the R and the O show up on screen. Now we have Android up on the screen. So we'll go ahead and close that. We don't need to fire it up all the way. But uh, let's uh, choose a skin like, let's say, the uh, hammerhead. That does not look like the hammerhead. Notice this is a uh, warning could not load that skin. So um, if the skin that you're trying to load doesn't exist, it will load the generic skin that is available. Notice also it's back to the default smaller screen that NDROI is all that you see. Whereas when we were loading the skin with 480 by 800, we could see um, all of Android. So uh, just be aware that you can load different skins. Um, let's see. Um, you can search a directory for different, a different directory if you have some skins in there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you can download some of these skins online. Uh, or maybe if you download the uh, Android uh, software development kit, the Android SDK, uh, you'll probably be able to find a bunch of skins in there as well. Uh, let's see, what else can we look at with regards to advanced settings here. <clears throat> um, of course, you can pass your own uh, Quemu arguments uh, to the emulator if you need it to do different things. Um, if you're using the generic ARM variation that we built, you won't really have too much trouble with that. You won't really need to pass separate options, but just be aware that that is available. Um, let's see. Uh, of course, you can choose, you know, not to have audio. You can specify an SD card as a file. That's a pretty handy option. Um, and you can load different images. So you do some tweaking and you want to load a different image, you can specify a file or a specific kernel for